all right guys welcome back to my channel my name is jp and i'm an ebay reseller today we're at the car booth it's a little bit dark it's a little bit spooky we're in chesa ches vegas also known as chesterfield home birth town of the legendary jason statham let's see what we can find all right we have been around a little bit but it was a little bit too dark so we found some stuff already i'll give you a little sneak peek of that but as always, we'll show you a haul at the end of the video. We're gonna keep it going, it's light now. So we should be able to see what we're doing now. All right, let's go. How much for that? 15 no. 15, no worries, yeah. thank you. Really? No way. How much do you want for that? Wood, mate. Oh, good, mate. How much are them, mate? Make me enough for me. Uh, 10 quid. Go on then. You take them. How much you want in for N64? Quid, mate. How much you want in for that? Uh, I was saying 35, but I do it for 30 if you want it. What's and it I got with HDMI it? HDMI leading with it as well. It makes it go to a HDMI. Oh, okay. It's got the plug with it, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, you take that. I think about it, mate. I think about it. Uh, just, just give us a quid, mate. Got a tenner. Got a bag, have you? I need, another, I need to get another quid as well, so. No worries. I'm going to this. I've been doing it. Now that for eight quid, mate, full set. With the figures, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. all right that is us done in chesterfield i think we got some good games there we didn't get as much on the second time round, so i can only apologize for there not being as much stuff but around the other side there's just a lot of market stalls and stuff like that and yeah i just skip over them really because i don't want any of their stuff i want to find the people that are getting rid of stuff clearing out the lofts things like that but yeah i can't believe some of those games were still there because he was selling them real cheap as well i thought these games must be really expensive or something. And he had the N64, some controllers, but they were just a little bit too much and I wasn't sure if they were working obviously as well. So didn't want to take that risk, but let's keep it going. We're going to move on. We're just going to get a cup of tea and then we're going to go to another one, which is an indoor car boot. So I need to grab some more cash as well because I spent too much money. All right, let's go. Thank you. 
Morning. Just, just yourself. Yeah, just me right, today. Nice one. Thank you. For this guy. The, uh, yeah. How much? Sorry, thirty. I think about it. I think about it. Cheers, me. How much for that one, please? Okay, it's brand new, that love, it's £10. Okay, no worries. Thank you, I'll have a think about that one. How much for those ones? For right. Rowan. They are brand new them. I've got quite a lot of pairs of them at home. Oh really? They're, they're six pound. I'll take those. I'll take those. Would you do them both for 15? That one's 10? Yeah, I can do. Go on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, How much are these in here, mate? They're all pound each, mate. I've got eight there, I yeah. think, if you want to check them. Yeah, that's fine. Give me a bag. Uh, no, I'm all right. I've got one. There you go, my friend. Uh, well, thank you very thank much. You. How much for that one, mate? No worries. I'll take that happy. There you go, mate. Cheers, thank you. Nice one. Those two, please, mate. Turn them together, please, mate. Nice one. There you go, boy. Cheers, mate. Have, Have a good, good one. Ah, oh, it's a bit windy. Oh, we are done for the day. We got a little bit of a hole there. That was, uh, I was all right. It was looking a bit, a bit dire at the start. So, picked up when you go upstairs. There's a lot more upstairs, but that place, that place is sketchy. There's a lot of stalls, people there every week, and they just leave their stuff there. I think we found some good stuff, maybe overpaid on a few things, so we'll see, we'll see. All right, we are back and we are ready to go through everything that I have found today. I can only apologise if some of the filming wasn't that good, and I did miss, obviously, the start because it was just too dark to film, uh, and it was really cold as well. I had my gloves on and I was just trying to trying to find some bargains early on but yeah let's go through everything found some really really good stuff 
So let's start with the clothing because that's probably the least exciting stuff. I found this Hugo Boss Finn sweater. That one was like three quid. So not bad on that one. The size XL as well. And it's got the big Hugo Boss logo on there. So that one should sell really well. What I'm going to do as well is I'm I'm sort of guessing I've not looked any solds up at all because obviously I'm filming with my phone. I can't I can't then use my phone to look at the solds, but that's the that's the way I kind of like it to be fair. It's just more fun that way. It's sort of a bit of a gamble, but you've got to use your knowledge and and just make that assumption on what things are worth. So I do prefer doing it like that anyway. But we're going to guess on all the prices and then I'll put some solds up at the end, see how accurate I am, see how close I am to, to those sold prices. Hopefully I'm pretty close. So first one for the Hugo Boss top, I'm going to guess 20 to 30 for that one. And we'll keep it going. So the next one, picked up these diesel jeans. Never seen this design before, the high high vi or high vi or whatever, I don't know. Kind of skinny, kind of long, but they were like three or four quid. I got a big bundle of clothes from one guy. I've just sold some diesel jeans for 30, so I reckon 20, 25 for them because they don't look like the remodel that's quite as sought after. I picked up these Rohan trousers. The lady said that these were new. They look pretty new to be fair. And she wanted six pounds for them, but I bundled them in with something else, one of her item and got them for a fiver. I reckon 25 for them. They are air light trousers. I think I've sold those before as well. They're like light walking trousers. We're going to keep a total going as well. So I spent £90 altogether. £90 spent. And we'll keep a total going. See how much I think I can make from all this stuff. But next I got this. Ladies Burghouse Gore-Tex jacket. Probably wouldn't have picked it up if it wasn't Gore-Tex. I think that'll sell pretty quick this time of year. Even though it's really dry. Don't know why I said that. This one probably shouldn't have picked up. It was just really dark. And I was trying to check, trying to check all the items that I was picking up. Like with my phone light. But I don't know if you can see the wear on this. It's just discolored all down here. It's really discolored, but it's a Henry Lloyd full zip sweater. I thought it was quite nice. Sold some Henry Lloyd stuff, sells really fast. But yeah, that one might just have to go really cheap. It might just go to the charity shop. Paid three pounds for that one. Probably make a tenner on it, maybe. Took more ladies clothing. I don't really like to pick up ladies clothing, but if it's good, I will. And if it's cheap, I will. Five pounds for this coat. It's a crack hoppers. Like really long, big, thick, warm coat. I reckon £30 for that one. Next one, we've got this Levi's hoodie. I just really like the logo on here and it's in pretty good condition. The only bad thing about this is it's missing its drawstring. It's not going to matter too much, I don't think. It's quite a nice hoodie. That was £3, probably 25 on that one. And I think this is the last clothing item. Picked up this Dockers jacket. Just a nice big warm jacket. And that was five pounds, so I reckon I can get 25 for that as well. Yeah, that's all the clothing, so let's move on. We found a lot of Transformers. I'm going to start with this Bumblebee figure here. Most of these are paid about a pound or two pounds for. I think he's not working. He's got a little button there, but he's not making any noise or anything. Still, good little figure. Probably sell that for 10 pounds. More Transformers, more of the same, really. Always difficult with these things because you don't know if anything's missing. So I try and check them the best I can. Again, probably about £10 if I sell them singly, but probably about £5, £6 each if I sell them as a bundle. Another Optimus Prime here. Obviously, they're a bit newer, these ones that I'm picking up. This is probably the best one. He does work. I did test him. He makes some noisy lights up. Another Transformers, just a little one. Another Optimus Prime. Another Transformers. Don't know who this one is. You guys will tell me who he is. Quid for him. And the last Transformer. This guy. I don't know who that is. I need to learn all these Transformers, really. It is what it is. I'm just not into it. That's why. It's just not, I'm just, just not my thing. But they, I, do, I do appreciate them. They're very cool. Probably stick all that bundle together for £30. Picked up some like similar toys, but these are Power Rangers. Again, I'll probably just wait until I've got more things like this and bundle them up. You know, worth about four quid each, maybe, I reckon. So, not a lot of profit, but if you keep doing that and bundle them up, the profit keeps increasing. So that's why we do that. Picked up some monster trucks as well. Always like to pick up monster trucks. I did think this was Donatello from Ninja Turtles. It turns out it is Hulk. It was a pound, so still worth about 10 to 15, that one. 
another monster truck that was 50p probably maximum you're gonna get is like six pounds or something like that but that's not another one is this hot wheels as well that's another hot wheels monster truck or fire engine never seen that one before some of these can be a lot rarer and harder to find there's collectors out there that'll pay like 10 pounds 15 pounds for just the small ones it's always worth to pick up if they're like 50p yeah these these ones were 20p so you know can't say no to that this is the megalodon from monster jams it's not hot wheels it's a monster jam monster truck about six pounds each on these maximum i think that's another that's a hot wheels one picked up a couple more hot wheels the lady said they're like a limited edition, edition one i don't know a lot about hot wheels cars i'm trying to learn the best i can my friend collects hot wheels so i might just give them to him maybe five pounds on them and uh, for the both of them picked up some Ninja Turtle figures. This guy just came in a bundle with the Transformers. A Leonardo figure, not seen this one before with the with the blue down his shell there. So I just thought he was quite cool. I generally collect these early 2000s figures. Happy to find them. But I do have a bit of a vintage collection as well. And this one's from 1990. He's like a little pencil topper or something. This one is from 2004 shredder figure i think i've not seen this guy before he's one of the foot soldiers and he's like arms go down like that and then you press the button and they shoot up so they're all just for the collection also got this uh tomb raider figure from 2000 just love picking things up like this this might be it might start a collection of just like cool 90s 2000s figures might start putting them up behind me here a bit more of an inter interesting background than these boring clothes and this empty space here this was quite interesting this is stranger things i am guessing maybe like a little play set that was meant to come with more figures there's like a something that was may maybe meant to stand there i reckon five to ten pounds on that picked up this mighty max little play set never picked these up before this was a pound as well and it is from 1994 just thought that was pretty cool to have if it's not got a lot of value i'll probably just hang on to it just add to the 90s collection that i've just started in my head and i picked up this corgi this box corgi aa land rover just thought that was pretty cool because it's in the box and it's from 1990 and it was only a pound i reckon 10 pounds for that at least let's go 10 on that one and then the last thing we picked up was actually these sets of pokemon cards the guy only wanted a fiver for him which is ridiculously cheap they're meant to be like 12.99 brand new and they are brand new and sealed so i just thought i can't go home without these and i had a tenner left so actually we spent we spent 100 pounds i got it wrong we spent 100 pounds not 90 pounds anyway yeah 10 pounds on those worth 20 quid for those so doubling your money picked up this uh vintagey looking calculator i just thought it looked pretty cool guy was almost reluctant to let it go he said he'd had it for like 50 years or whatever i don't know what he said anyway texas instruments don't know anything about it i just thought for a quid i'm going to take a little gamble and just see if this is worth anything so i'm completely guessing on this but we're going to say that's worth 10 pounds i picked up this killing zoe produced by quentin tarantino main reason i picked it up two pounds i paid for that I have absolutely no idea if that's worth anything more than that. But I don't know. We're just going to play it safe on that one and say it's worth a tenner. And another VHS. And this is from 1990. And it's uh, the fifth turtle. It's just going to add nicely to my collection. I've not got any VHS turtles in my collection. And I actually went to a car boot once and a guy had like three or four VHS. Ninja Turtles VHS. And I asked him how much that he wanted for him and he said 50p each. And I didn't buy him no idea why just paid a pound for that one but that was going to stay in the collection it's probably worth about 10 pounds picked up this xbox controller basically the guy i paid nine pounds for a bundle of games off someone i gave him a 20 pound note he gave me a tenner he said i ain't got a pound change he took ages trying to find a pound change so i just started looking for other things and he said you can have this for a quid after all that so i just thought why not pick up an xbox game controller it's got to be worth more than a quid probably worth 10 pounds might just add it to the collection though because i don't think i have an official one and that's an official one right there so this is the problem being a, a seller and a collector you just end up collecting most and keeping most of the stuff but i can't complain if that happens all right onto some onto some video games let's start with this wii game again didn't look up any solds on any of these things so i'm just going on my gut going on what i think is going to be valuable 
So some of these could be worth just what I paid for them. And if they and if they are, I probably just keep them for the collection again. So for the first one, we've got Donkey Kong Returns, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Pretty good condition, and it's got the manual, and it's and the disc's pretty good condition as well. I don't know, five pounds. Let's go five pounds on Donkey Kong for the Wii. This one was a quid. PlayStation Two, Robot Wars, Arenas of Destruction. So if it's not worth much, just I'll just you know, I'll just keep that one. And another PS2 game, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. I reckon five pounds for that one. These were a bit cheaper. Hitman, Blood Money for the PS2. I reckon four pounds for that one. Not a lot of money, but I paid about 75 pence for that. And I bought it again, but for the Xbox 360. Again with the manual. So yeah, probably same price for that one, about four quid. Bioshock Infinite, that was another one in that bundle. So this was really cheap, about 75p with the manual again. Some better games here, I think anyway. The Simpsons Skateboarding. I might have to keep this one. I don't know. It's just be cool for the collection. I've got a bit of a skateboarding Simpsons cabinet going on at the moment, so I might have to stick that in there. Oh, if I'm going to sell it though, I'm going to say £10. I want to say £10 for that because it's in really good condition. And it's a little bit more rare and it's the Simpsons, so quite collectible. But could, again, could be, com com co 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 could be completely wrong. GTA 5, Xbox 360. No manual, no map. Five, six quid. Theme park for the Nintendo DS. With the manual, I don't know how much that's worth. Um, fiver. Five quid. Not a lot of profit, but, you know, I just love picking up games. Really easy to sell. Really easy to package. Really quick to list. And they usually sell really fast. GTA, again, this one. PS3. But it's got the manual and the map. GTA, did I say GTA 3? I don't know. GTA 5. Star Wars Battlefront. Again, not a lot of money in that. It's for the PS4 though, so it's a bit newer. Fiber on that one. We've got Star Wars. The Clone Wars uh, for the Nintendo Wii. I reckon five pounds for that one. Another Lego game, Batman 2 for the Nintendo Wii again. With the manual. Probably five pounds again for that one, I'm guessing. One of the better ones to pick up for the Wii. The Wii Play. This actually comes with the Wii, so I don't know why these sell. But they do with the manual with the disc good condition sold this before about eight pounds i think and then finally we're on to the last two games and these are the best ones i found super mario sunshine just a few problems with this one bit of damage on the case bit of damage on the on the artwork probably fix that up it do, it looks like it's folded into there so maybe we can fix it up a little bit make it look a bit more presentable um, the back looks all right. Back's good. Other problem is the case is a bit broken. The disc is in there and the disc is in good condition, but it's missing the manual. I think in better condition, it's worth 15 to 20, this game. Um, so probably only like £10 for that. But even like disc only, I'd probably pick it up for what I paid for it. I think I paid £2 for that one. And the guy just said make him an offer. So I made him a fair offer. I didn't want to rip him off. Uh, I picked up some good games from him, so... He had some he had some really good stuff. Um, but yeah, last of all, this is probably the best game. Honestly, don't have any idea. I'm just I'm guessing this is probably the best game. Uh Super Smash Bros. Melee. Again for the GameCube. Bit better condition, but no manual. So I just don't I don't know how much this is worth. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess 20 to 30. I'm put, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting I'm going high with this one because. That's a really good game. Um, maybe a little bit less because it's not got the manual. But if I had the manual, I reckon that. And that's it. That's my haul for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to like, subscribe, send me a comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, have a good day. Goodbye.